What's going on everybody? Z-Man the Tech here. And with me today I have Chef Elliot Hollinger, aka East West Chef. Say what's up to the people. What's up everybody? It's East West Chef, man. I'm happy to be here with my boy Z-Man. Alrighty, and um, today, uh, I kinda, kinda see it off to the distance there. Let me bring it a little closer for you. The O-Droid, we're gonna have the assembly done by Yours truly, East West Chef. <laughs> get my hands on this, man. Get my hands dirty a little bit. You already know. Um, so, of course, you know, this is the already built version that I had initially. So, you can get a little closer here. Oops, the screen's every moment. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, um, this is a do it yourself. If you have not heard about it, I actually, um, on my Instagram, I've been posting a lot of pictures of it. Because I've been enjoying this little device, it's been really amazing. Uh, it was easy to build. It simply takes less than ten minutes. Um, and actually, I found out about this uh, through a channel called ETA Prime. I love his channel um, and uh, the content he puts out. And um, I was like, man, I saw that he uh, around the uh, launch of it, he he uh, was kind of showcasing it, the build, and you know, testing games on it, what have you. So I, I had to get one. So I. I searched around uh, they were kind of like out of stock for a little bit uh, actually the link he provided on Amazon they, they sold out within like minutes <laughs> so I had to um, actually go to the hard kernel site and I actually got mine directly from there um, and everything like that so but as you can see yeah it's pretty nice very lightweight um, very thin like the form factor every everything about it is just amazing and the PCB is, is a custom PCB um, that Odroid or I'm sorry, that a uh, hard kernel created uh, for their line of uh, Odroid um, single board PCs, basically, and um, it's not like anything groundbreaking as far as the megahertz and things like that. It's really only meant for these particular types of games, uh, as far as retro and things like that. When it comes to um, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Master System, and Game Gear, I mean, with, you know, within reason, those are. Um, and even NES, sorry. Um, <laughs> those basically, you know, don't require as much power. And like I said, for the form factor, it, it feels really nice. Um, you know, I have big hands, you know, so it's like, um, it actually, I was worried that I would cramp up and, you know, everything like that, but it, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, it, it actually, the, the, the membranes for the actual buttons, uh, they, they feel very um, close to the original. Um, so I'm loving the D-pad, loving the way the buttons feel. Uh, power button on the side it's it's great um and and speaking of the, the as you can see the sd card on the side goes on the side there um but, but speaking of the uh battery life we're talking like it's it's been heard to have up to 10 hours of battery life depending on what games you play which is ridiculous that's <laughs> so that's that's just that's more than enough time to to, to complete some game gear games whereas you know the original machine man, was like hey man <laughs> game gear bro you had like Minute and a half, not, not yeah. probably an hour and a half. Yeah, like but it felt like a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, yeah, we're gonna turn this off, and um, without much further ado, we're gonna unbox it, and uh, well, you are. You're gonna unbox it, and uh, I'll guide you through. All right, sounds good. All right, so I guess we can dock the clock now. If you were to dock the clock, apologies, had to do that little intro, but <laughs> all righty, um, I leave it to you. Okay, I'm gonna start unboxing this beauty. Okay, old droid. Put that over here. If you move that, you can. I just kind of got everything laid out. All right. Let's see, all nice and wrapped up. I feel like Christmas, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's, oh man. All right. Beautiful. So, as you can see, they bundled the shell and the buttons and the membranes pretty much all together. And uh, actually, if you want to go ahead and remove this bottom piece, you can go ahead and do that. Or, or the, you know, the bubble wrap. <laughs> right. I'll play with that they, later. These little screws are very small. They're easy to lose. So definitely um, our method that we decided to use um, that I should have done with my original build <laughs> mm. is uh, use a towel. So mm. <laughs> um, that way you can kind of make sure you don't lose these things. Yeah, there's a lot of small pieces in here. Yeah. As far as the bubble wrap, I'm just going to put that back in the, uh, the box. For later enjoyment? Yeah. Man. <laughs> you got to pop those. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's the bonus after the... After the item that you received, it's like, oh, what? I get to pop bubbles too? Yeah, man. All right, so there you go. You got your front-facing shield, and then the back one as well. Here's your um, membranes, as well as your 
that's going to be your start select, and then there should be another set of those black. Yeah, they are. Um, start select, and then menu and volume. Okay. All right. That's cool. And then if you want to go ahead and um, we actually, for, we're only going to need the speaker. We're not going to actually need this header. Um, that's for later projects or oh. what have you. Um, and actually, you can see it here on the uh, PCB at the very top. That's where the header goes, and you can plug in, you know, things that basically would be applicable to using a header. Um, but you can just take the speaker out of that. Okay. There we go. Okay, and the PCB, we can go ahead and take that out. The main brains of the operation there. The brains. <laughs> this reminds me of cooking a little bit, you know, putting all your ingredients in one spot, mm -hmm. seeing what you got. You know it. Basically, the trash out to the side. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take this stuff out too. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take all of that out, um, including the screws. But we'll like, try to make sure we don't lose them. Yeah, they're real small. Okay. And this is really the only two wires that you're gonna have to connect. Seriously? Yeah. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice, man. Anybody can do this. Yeah. If, if I can do it, anybody <laughs> can. Literally, anybody can do this. This is going to be, yeah, this is your uh, charge cable. I mean, it's it's pretty basic and short, but at least it comes with one, so. All right. <laughs> yeah. And what do you got there? That's your screen, so yeah, definitely. Oh, just, just leave that there then. Well, I mean, uh, you can take it out, because um, okay. that's going to be the first thing we put in, actually. Okay. Um, just be careful with that ribbon cable. That is, like, like super fragile. It is... Yeah, I feel it already. Yeah, it's literally... Um, <laughs> if I breathe too hard, it might just... <laughs> yeah, it's like paper mache. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll set that off. And then uh, if you want, we can leave that screen protector on. Yeah. Um, until, well, technically you do have to take it off before we put it on. Okay. Um, but yeah, before we put the uh, the actual shield on, mm. that's going to be... Uh, you know what? Sometimes these things have caps on them. Sorry, let me see. The, uh... Oh, okay. I think we've got, like, 30 minutes allocated. So we can... We're good. Okay. I still want to shut off on you. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it's like we're, like, assembling it and it's yeah. not recording. No. Um, okay. So, yeah, this is your... Um, that's going to be the screen that goes over the top of it. Okay. That's, like, very less. So okay. don't worry about that. We can actually keep that in if you want. Okay. And then, uh, okay, so... We're gonna take the front shield. Okay. And, oh, actually, we're just gonna take those out too. Sorry. All right, let's take these out. These are the buttons, huh? Yeah, membranes and the buttons. First time I've ever got a chance to actually see the inside of a gaming device like this. Cool, man. Yeah, definitely. I love games. I just, I'm not a very technical person when it comes to electronics, but luckily, my homeboy Z-Man is, so. <laughs> I do a little something. Yeah, you know? no, you do everything. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, definitely do the same kind of thing, but uh, on, on your channel, you know. Oh heck could, yeah, man! Of course. You know, you know I, I'll be doing some trying to do trying to do some cooking type hey. stuff, and you'll guide me. So. Heck yeah, man! You you know we're gonna do that. Yeah, definitely. Um, right. Okay, so, so yeah, you can set those off to the side. Okay. Um, and then the last thing we'll take out is uh, well, technically not last, but next to last we'll take out is these screws here. Okay. Put these in some place real safe. Yeah, this, we're gonna be we're not gonna need those until we, actually. Yeah, we want to make sure we put the screen and the buttons in and uh, everything like that. Okay. All right. So the screws here. Okay. So and now we're gonna uh, as for your screen, we're okay. gonna go ahead and take that um, screen protector off the front of it. Okay. Okay. And so you're facing it down, right? Mm -hmm. So the ribbon cable is going to go to the right. To the right. So you're going to flip that. Uh, well, actually, take, go ahead and take your. Uh, go ahead and peel that off. Peel it off. As carefully as you can. Oh, that screen is clean. Oh, sure is. All right. So and we can. We're gonna. I'm gonna get a microfiber cloth so we can actually wipe it off. Okay. Um, before we put that shield on, because I made that mistake and uh, <laughs> I got a speck of dust on there that it's bugging me. I have to take it apart again. All right, so go ahead and grab your screen, and then uh, we're gonna, it's gonna be like that, but flip it around. Oh, I see. Like, vertically. Vertically. Yeah, no, well, 
Flip that. <laughs> Flip this, this way. And then turn it. Turn it this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so what we, what we want to do is you see there's some, uh, some little lips here. Yeah. On each side. I've heard it's easier to do it from the bottom. So, yeah, scoot that in. Like, try, to, try to fit it underneath that lip from the bottom and then lightly push it on the top until you hear it click. And then kind of do it, push, push where the lips are, like right underneath, on, on the on the actual screen, but oh. on on the edges of it. Yeah. On the edges. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. There, there it is. Oh, that's it. So it's clicked in. Okay. All right. And then uh, yeah, be careful with it. So get as careful you can with that. Now, now that the uh, now that the screen is in, we're actually going to jump right to the. Um, actually, I'm sorry. We're going to do buttons. Buttons. So, oh, there they are. So yeah, <laughs> so now they're, as you can see, they're, they're on a 3D printed kind of sheet. So all you gotta do is grab them and then twist and then they should come right apart. Okay. Oh, yep. oh sure do. The B button. Mm -hmm. Man, um, <clears throat> 3D printers are really oh, man, it's, it's revolutionized awesome. everything, man. Like I, I, um, I definitely want to, um, start 3D printing some stuff. I did put a video out about the uh, Pi Girl 2 mm -hmm. um, handheld. I sadly haven't got all the pieces, any of the pieces yet. I, I, haven't, I didn't really want to order them just yet, but anywho, <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, mm -hmm. All right, so now we want to go ahead and uh, we're gonna, these are the easiest buttons to fit in first. Okay. Um, they're, they don't really have a particular order. You can just pop them right in. Pop them in. And what's gonna have to happen is, yeah, we're gonna have to kind of lift up on it um, as you put those in. Just be careful with that ribbon cable. Okay. And um, let's see here. And then you can go ahead and fit the now the they act the every every button has a particular groove to it. So all you gotta do is just fit it in the groove. Okay. Speaking of that, we're gonna we're gonna put that on there. Oh yeah, we worked that part, man, <laughs> for sure. Definitely. Um, D-pad. Yep, D-pad, and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, the membranes will be the last thing to go on after the buttons. Okay. Um, and actually, these technically have their own membrane. You don't have to worry about the start, select, menu, and uh, volume. Nice. Got it in. Yeah. All right. So, and then you'll no you'll also notice when it comes to the the uh, the way the membranes fit in. There's actually a little hole specifically for, um, this is actually an extra one, you don't really need that. Oh, okay. Um, you're just gonna need those two, so we'll set that aside. Okay. Um, and this is your power button, you definitely don't wanna lose that. We'll, I'll show you how to do that in a second. All right. Once we put the PCB in. So uh, go ahead and do your membranes. Um, okay. they'll, they'll, be, they'll be little pegs, basically, to, uh, yeah, go ahead. They'll be, yeah, I'm sorry. So the black part is the conductor. So that actually goes up your right. Okay. Um, just make sure that it should, there should, you might have to turn it a little bit. There should be holes designed to fit that on there. Okay. And you're gonna, like I said, you may have to lift up the, uh, yeah. I see. Oh, I see the holes now. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Cool. And then uh, do the same for your uh, other one. Okay. Smaller one goes up top. There you go. This is really cool, man. Yeah. Doing this yourself. Yeah. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, um, if you look at this PCB, you can tell that's where your conduct or the um, actual buttons are going to be. Mm. Um, so this side. Of course it's gonna go this way so it was actually already right the way you had it okay um, now what's gonna happen is when you set this in there should be um, areas where you can see where screw actually they have little diagram things to show you where screws are going to go mm -hmm. um, so go ahead and fit that on okay. and you, can, you may have to lift up on it again just to make sure It may not be, um, let me see, it may not click in all the way, mm -hmm. 
but just line up the holes as best you can. Okay. Um, and actually, you know what? We might want to go ahead and once you line them up, we, it, it should be safe to go ahead and uh, start using your screwdriver to okay. at least put these main ones in to hold it in place. Okay. Um, for this one, we're going to use a double, a double O, a number double O. Double O. Yeah. Seven. You know it. super small. <laughs> Too easy to lose. So just make sure you got it lined up and you should be good. <clears throat> yeah, feels good. Yep, yeah, and that's it's, it's important to, not, to make sure it's not too tight. Um, because that in turn is going to, uh, it could strip the uh, the plastic. Oh, you yeah. have to replace the entire kit. Oh no! They don't ship them just by themselves. Okay, let me make yeah. sure of that. Yeah. Don't go overboard on the screwing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Let that be a lesson. <laughs> Life lesson. All day. Okay. Okay. We got one more. And then. that in. Now, we want to go ahead and, uh, yep. we want to go ahead and, uh, there should be this little piece here. I'm going to make sure let's pull it all the way out and lift up on it. It should be good. I think it's lifted up enough, but just make sure it's, yeah, as careful as you can. Lift up. Mm-hmm. Pull out and lift up. There you go. Leave it up, or leave it up if, you, if, if, it, if it'll stay. As high, as high as it'll go. All right, okay. so very carefully, you're gonna fold this okay. and push it. <laughs> you're gonna fold it. I feel like I'm diffusing the bomb. I know, right? Fold it and scoot it under. Like it, see, it, it's gonna move on you, but okay. as long as you can push it underneath and feel that it plugs in as far as it'll go. It's not very far. Um, what your guide will be, is uh, you're gonna see that little white line there. Mm -hmm. you're, you're gonna see that pretty much dang near lined up with this. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. and very carefully fold it and tuck. That's all you gotta do. Fold and tuck. Mm -hmm. I've done that before. Happy. So, uh, Boom. Felt that? Yeah, I felt that. That's it. Felt real nice. So. <laughs> So all you, all you want to do is push it back in, that black part, around the ribbon cable. Just push it back, right? Yeah, push it back and down. Back and back and down. I guess you want to go back before you go down. It's more of just pushing it back towards, there you go. Okay. Oh. Is that it? I think it is. Just okay. Take a look. It is very delicate. For some reason. <laughs> okay. That feels snug to me. And it doesn't look like it's stressed out at all. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so the last two pieces are the, the speaker and the actual battery. We're going to do the battery first. Or, I'm sorry, the speaker first. Okay. Uh, when you put it in, of course, make sure this part is facing down. And care, you know, as you can see, it's soldered, so be very careful. These wires are super thin, okay. but um, when you put it in, uh, you're gonna kind of coil it, and then oh, you know what? We missed the screw. Oh, let's go ahead and put that one in because that's gonna be hard to get to after the speaker. Okay. Yeah. Good point. Yep, yep. You know, I just I just realized I missed mine. Oh my goodness! You you missed the screw? Yeah. I totally missed that. <laughs> so well, you gotta open it up anyway, right? I do. So that's fine. I will have something to do later. I, I I know. I was like, I was like, why don't I have an extra screw? So, <laughs> all right. So go ahead and grab your speaker, and then uh, speaker box. Yeah. 
and then um, we want to make sure that piece is going to kind of turn it more to that side. So what's going to happen is, once you coil it, you know, it should kind of fit in that area. That way when you coil it, it should pl plug right in there. Just make sure you can match the way the symbols are. That little part with the uh, nub above it, it should fit right in there. Okay. It's very small, so yeah. it's kind of hard to grab. Make sure those match up. It's like, it's like a, kind of like threading a needle. <laughs> a little bit. Okay. I can, I can definitely uh, agree with that. So <laughs> actually, you know, what? I think it flips. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, the, uh, the part with the line down the middle should be on top. Excellent. Okay. And then just when you push it in, definitely you know push from the white part, of course. Okay. Once you get it lined up. Side to the, yeah. In? Yeah. Right, if it feels like it's in as far as it'll go, you're good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. I was gonna say just just coil that, turn it, and you're good. Okay. Okay. But all you gotta do is uh grab that, and then that's gonna that battery is gonna go. I'll take a look at mine. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is it's gonna go like this, and you're gonna have to. Um, Make sure that, because when we do the screws on the back, like when we put the back piece on, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that um, that these wires are free of, of any screw holes, because oh. that, that would be super detrimental. Mm. So just coil it the best you can, and then same same deal. Okay. It's more so of a, it's gonna it's gonna bend more diagonally to it than it is gonna coil, because it's like the speaker one is a little longer. All right. Okay. Oh, good. Sweet. So as you can see, there's a screw hole here. Yeah. Yeah. So we just want to make sure. What's that screw hole? There we go. Oh. Oh yeah, like this. Yeah. Okay. I see. You can only pull it so much. So as long as it's just out of the way, that'll yeah. be the best we can get it. That looks pretty good. All right. So last piece that's gonna be. It's kind of odd. Is you're gonna have to turn it on. So it's gonna. To, to be able to put this uh, power button on, mm -hmm. so okay, I believe it's going to go like that. Um, you're going to have to turn the unit on. You know the screen works, so you got that. Okay. okay. Now it's going to fit in these grooves. Uh, I see. It should fit right on in, but it's weird because you have to fit boom, just like that. Nice. All right, and then just uh, be careful when you turn it off because it'll. Like the whole case is not assembled, so it's easy to kind of come, come, come apart. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you're, you're ready for that last piece. Nice. Um, just match it up and uh, assemble. Okay, cool. Do I, I, I put this one on last, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, we're going to do that last for sure. Cool. Because um, it could be assembled when we put that on. Okay, cool. All right, just right, so uh, this is this way, I think. Yes. Yeah. That goes. That part goes over the battery because those little just those little swimming, grooves is basically uh, swimming, hold help hold that battery in place. Looking good, man. Just We're probably over ten minutes, but it's fine. <laughs> as far as the assembly, but it's yeah, it's it's like for. It, it, the whole point is to just so show you know how how um, like the difficulty level of it. you know it doesn't really some have finished it in ten minutes it doesn't have to be that I know it took it actually took me a little more because I was I have like this uncanny fear of like <laughs> ruining cables because <laughs> I, I was just, I was trying to fix a PSP one time and uh, the screen on it and um, you know, taking that thing apart is a, is a, is a freaking roadmap. It's, it's, it's nuts, but um, um, yeah, just getting to it and all that. Like, long story short, the, the ribbon cable thing ended up being a nightmare, and I uh, damaged the entire screen because of that. It was like a brand new screen I was going to swap out, and yeah, yeah, it sucked. <laughs> so, 
traumatized mouth. So oh, shoot. You know what? Oh, no, no, you, you're right. I was making sure, because you, you're the one that got the screw. I, I did. Oh, this one's okay. <laughs> we did that before, so we, you did it right. I did it with the guy that's the Z-Man attack. Yeah, I did what I did. I still fail. Hard. <laughs> at 25 and then you know we got to a 31 before then it will cut off so okay. all right um yeah nice. folks this is this is it all with the exception of the uh shield so we're gonna have, i'm gonna go ahead and have him assemble that okay. and um yeah go for it man yeah. um i think that one pretty much it's the same shape all the way around it's pretty much symmetrical mm -hmm. so once you take that back um it, that piece off there, mm -hmm. that 3M piece is, uh, is, is where the adhesive is attached to. So all you got to do is just peel that just keep swimming, the best you can. Just keep swimming, just keep it's going to be a little, a little snug because it's adhes just keep uh, adhesive. Swimming, so just, keep you just try to make sure it's as even as you can. Oh shoot. You know what? It's part of <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it. It'll, it'll do that. So you just take the whole piece off, right? Yeah, that, that whole thing needs to come off. It gets really stuck on there. Yeah. There, there you go. go. Get some nails. You yeah, you need, you need some fingernails for this one. <laughs> I might have to. There we go. There we go. Okay. Be careful not to touch that shield because I made that mistake. And uh, oh, is that the whole piece? Is this the white piece here? That we we don't need. Yeah, that, that piece needs to come off too. This needs to come off too. Okay. Yeah. Let's just playing with us right now. I think it's starting to come off on the other side. You might want to try to grab it from there. Or in the middle. In the middle? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now. Oh, there it is. There we go. And then, you know, kind of just, uh, when you get ready to assemble it, or to append it, mm -hmm. just what I did is, uh, or what I think helps is go on the edge of it as best you can. Mm -hmm. Start from that edge and then just kind of lay it flat. Okay. And it'll be good. Wait, is there, is that a mark on there? Where? Is that fingerprint on it? Um, kind of. Here, look, uh, what looks like? <laughs> I'll show you the mark we find before. It's just the inside that <laughs> it's going to cause you to have to take it apart again, like the mistake I made. So. Mm. Yeah, I think it's in there. I want the last minute here, so. Um, push it all the way down. It's, it looks, looks pretty legit. Looks like success. There we go. There it is, folks. Da, 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 da. So we're going to go to the computer, drag some things over, and uh, show how it runs. Awesome work, man. <laughs> man, thanks to you, brother. I do what I can do. All right, what's going on? We're back. Uh, apologies. I, I wasn't able to get the screen capture going correctly like I wanted to. Uh, something, I don't know. I'm still getting used to OBS, so I apologize. Um, if you do want to actually see that process, it's very quick, very simple. Uh, downloading the uh, skeleton file and um, dragging the respective legally obtained uh, <laughs> ROMs over to the Odroid. Um, it's it's a very quick process, doesn't take very long, so I'll um, basically link in the description um, ETA Prime's video, as I mentioned earlier, he was uh, the inspiration for going ahead and ob obtaining one of these to build myself and play on it and so forth. Uh, very awesome channel if you know, 
I don't know who's not familiar with this channel at this point, but if you're not, then definitely take a look at that video for the process and check his other stuff out. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, without much further ado, East West Chef's going to finish the process. Spirit fingers. All right. So, yes, by the way, which Z-Man helped me build this old droid of mine. Um, so, here is the money shot. And boom. boom. It's in there. That's it. It is complete. We are done. So, oh, go ahead. Um, add, oh, let's start it off. By all means, uh, test out some softwares. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Boom. And then you might have to raise it up a bit so you can kind of, so we can focus on it. There we go. There we all go. right, so we've got NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Sega Master System, Game Gear. This right here to me is so crazy. Game Gear. Like, it, this is bringing back... Then the, the nostalgia is flooding back. Yeah, just um, overflowing. It's overflowing right now. <laughs> uh, let's see what we're going. Is it focused? Oh, let me put it in. Yes. I think it's focusing. Yes. It yeah. looks like it's focused. All right. Okay. Yeah. What are you going to jump into, man? I don't know, man. As there's so many games on here. Uh, you got to do, what is it, Triple Trouble? Oh, Sonic, gotta got to do Triple do, Trouble. Uh, you got to do, uh, do uh, uh, not more combat. It's on there, but what was it? Uh, not more combat, but... Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Man. Oh, it's... What? This is... Yeah, let's go ahead and boot that up. Okay. Which is the movie one? Yes. Oh, yeah, there it's we like go. I was already in the middle of the You game. was already <laughs> in there, man. You already... Look, you just destroyed a Putty Patrol right there, man. My fault. Uh, so hit start and... Uh... Oh, that's all right. This is who I would have picked anyways. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think I was in the middle of the game. Yeah. Okay, Ooh. yeah. This is... Uh, you're fighting a Putty, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, they're like... Uh, what are they, the these guys? I thought those are putties, those are putties. Yeah. Oh, you see how they do me? Just dive bomb on me? <laughs> That's what you get for that. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yeah, the, he's doing the, the Liu Kang uh, bicycle kick? Yes, man, but better. This is the White Ranger, though. That's that's the crazy part about it. I used to play this game for hours, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, straight up, bro. Come get some. The super was a was it quarter circle, quarter circle attack. Okay, or I think you had to hit both. Both face buttons along with that. Really? Okay. Yeah, there was like an ultimate kind of moves you could do mm -hmm. in this in this version of the game. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, it's a care of it. Oh, is that? Oh, this is the, oh uh, I have to take care of it. This is the sub boss, right? Yeah. Man, this game is so sick. I don't know why it doesn't get more, like, people don't talk about it more. It is so good. I mean, like seriously though, like this version was so different from the console versions. Like this, I, I love the Game Gear version. Man. Yeah. Like, it legit felt like a different type of fighting game. Like it, it was kind of like a mix. Oh, Lord Zed. <laughs> it, it was kind of a mix of uh, what do you call it? Um, like a side scroller beat 'em up, but it had the engine of like a fighting game. Like, yeah. All right, sorry to cut everything short. Uh, just wanted to showcase one game in particular that I haven't seen anyone try to uh, demonstrate the performance on for the Odroid Go, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, one of my favorite Game Gear games, including the original. Both play identical, um, just the movie version has a lot more upgrades. Really awesome game. Plays wonderfully on the Odroid Go, as well as many other titles. Um, but like other emulation, uh, programs and devices you're gonna run into some that have like a little bit of a you know slow down or anything like that it's not gonna be a hundred percent but you know that comes with emulation um, so definitely expect that uh, it is a single board PC definitely under like with uh, megahertz are about between 80 85 and 266 or something megahertz so it's it's, it's pretty slow um, but for running these games not much is needed um, but there's going to be some uh, firmware updates. Uh, actually, there are constant ones that they're working on on the back end since the launch of this device. Um, and they, by they, I mean Hard Kernel <laughs> um, and their developers that work on this. So um, I think their most recent firmware update actually supports ColecoVision, which is really exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm old school. So <laughs> uh, these, these, these little what would be considered minimalistic things uh, excite me. I'm, I'm, I'm eager to actually try that out. Um, there were some pretty good titles on there. Um, you know, like any other console, not everything is always going to be like, oh my gosh, you know, but, uh, but definitely um, really eager to try the Star Wars and, and uh, some of the other games that they had on there uh, back in that time. But that being said, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, definitely uh, follow ETA Prime um, and his channel, his content's amazing. He was the inspiration for me to go ahead and uh, 
um, basically obtained not one but two of these to go ahead and work on and, and play with and, and enjoy. So uh, if you can find them, yeah, because Amazon, they constantly sell out. So um, I actually had to go through uh, Hard Kernel themselves as far as their site to actually order them. Um, which they, you know, shipping's a little bit more rough, but uh, coming from South Korea. But uh, however you can get it, definitely get it. It's totally worth it. Um, and I look forward to, you know, the next, uh, you know, DIY kits they put out for future handhelds, uh, for sure. Because, I mean, with the success of this one's selling out so much, um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be uh, some, some more in the future. And hopefully with a stronger board, so that way maybe we can get some, uh, some FBA support, maybe some uh, Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, it would definitely really um, be, be great to experience that, too. Uh, Cause you can find a Neo Geo Pocket, but you're gonna get scalped out the wazoo, and eh, it's just, it's not really, it's not really a good experience to be dealing with that, um, especially when you know it's not like the the original uh, creators of it, like you know SNK or whoever, is going to get that money. So scalping in general is just really horrible. I mean, just you think about it secondhand in general. Uh, you know, the original creators of these things don't really see that money. It's, at one point they did, but the reselling of it for crazy amounts of money, they don't. So, um, anywho, uh, <laughs> definitely uh, check out ETA Prime. Uh, I'll put the links in the description. Check out East West Chef. Uh, his his quality of work is amazing, like to the roof. Um, and uh, if you definitely check out his uh, Instagram, you'll see all the wonderful uh, dishes he's put together. Um, it's constantly being updated. Uh, it's just a really amazing uh, um, chef work. Like it, it's, it, I don't even know the word. <laughs> like just the craftsmanship. It's so beautiful. Um, it makes you not even want to eat it. It's just amazing. Um, but then you will eat it because it looks amazing. <laughs> Um, but yeah, definitely check out uh, his uh, Instagram and his website for booking. Um, he's definitely, like I said, a legitimate personal chef. He has meal plans, all the above. Definitely check him out. Um, and yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I plan on doing more content of this sort. I'm trying to cover all bases when it comes to the content. Uh, as much as I'm able to do and get away with, I'm going to try it. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks for, for uh, continu continued support. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So you have a good rest of your morning, day, night, evening, whatever time it is for you. Thank you.